If you guys knew how I feel right now and you compare that to the way that I look, thank God, thank God we don't look like what we've been through. What's up, sous chefs? First things first, if this is your first time here on the Sous Chef channel, I wanna say welcome. If you've been here before, I wanna say welcome on back. If your subscribe button is red right now, you are doing the wrong thing. Go ahead and click that button, and along with the bell right next to it, that is what we call post notifications here on YouTube. If you click that, make sure you click all. It will always let you know anytime I post a video. Let me tell y'all something real quick, how makeup can be a liar, okay? Because if, if you guys knew how I feel right now and you compare that to the way that I look, thank God, thank God we don't look like what we've been through. I got a kimono on in the house, like, where, who she thinks she is? Who she thinks she is? Where she thinks she going with? Looking this cute to stay in the house. I'm getting right back in bed after this. I, but beside all that, Today, we are making some banana pudding. Why, you might ask, but I've been seeing a lot of banana pudding recipes going around. I'll be looking at it like, hmm, I think mine's better. But there's always a sous chef's secret that you gotta add to your recipes to elevate it, because that's what we're all about. We're all about taking regular, degular, everyday meals and making them better than your mother. Let's get into the video. All right, what's up, sous chefs? We are back at it again here in Sous Chef's Kitchen. So today, y'all, we are making banana cream pudding. But there's a couple of catches to this pudding. I know if you, most of you guys are probably not even making banana pudding with vanilla wafers anymore. We have chessmen cookies. Not, you know, anything abnormal from what you probably see on most YouTube videos. So that is not our secret. Let's be honest, you guys. If any of you guys have been here long enough on the Sous Chef channel, you should already know what the secret is gonna be. It's gonna be one of like three things. Go ahead, I'm gonna give you five seconds right now. If you're in the comment section, go ahead and drop a comment of what you think that the secret ingredient is in our banana cream pudding. Five, four, three, two, one. If you guessed, Philadelphia cream cheese. I know you right. The first thing that we're gonna do to make sure that our banana pudding all comes together at the same time is making sure that our pudding has the time that it needs to set. So we are going to do that first. You're gonna need a large mixing bowl as well as a whisk. And I do say whisk very specifically. Um, this pudding that I have is the 5.1 ounce package. I did see some smaller ones, but I'm making a huge tray. Nice deep lasagna tray of pudding. Um, and then I'm gonna give it away because me and my husband don't need banana pudding in the house. For each box of banana pudding, it does call for three cups of cold milk. This one measures up to four cups. So I'm gonna do four cups. And then an additional two. So we're gonna mix it, and you do wanna whisk it. You wanna make sure that all of your pudding is incorporated. Next, we're gonna take three bananas. So I always kind of like to slice them probably about an inch thick. Now we're gonna start preparing our pan. Simply just going to cover the entire bottom with cookies. So on top of this, we are going to put one and a half bananas. And now we're gonna check on our pudding. Set this aside for right now. 
original printing is definitely thickened up. I add about six ounces, which is really just half of your traditional whipped cream cheese jar. Okay. And we gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it real good. And you're just gonna mix it until it's nice and fine. You're looking for really like a cake batter. That's why you let it set first and then you add your cream cheese. It's actually gonna make it a little bit thicker. Now we are ready to pour. So we're taking our tray again. So we're literally just going to pour our pudding on top. Pour all of your pudding on top. Cover everything. Get a spoon and smooth it all out. After you've smoothed it out, you're going to put cookies and bananas and align it up the same way. And then the rest of the bananas go on top. And there we have our banana pudding. You're gonna take your lid. If you wanna pull, put Cool Whip or whipped cream on top of it, then this would be the time that you would do that. We are just going to cover our banana pudding with the dome lid. And it does need to chill. I would recommend it chilling for at least 30 minutes. Right, so it's been a solid 30 minutes since we put this bad boy in the refrigerator. So it is chilled. It looks delicious. It is ready to be ate. And I'm ready to eat. Two things we need to do before we dig in. First thing is, give glory to God. God, I give you glory. You are the foundation of my life, and I will always praise you. Amen. Number two, we gotta sing our sous chef theme song. We're ready? Drop a beat. Kick off your shoes as a sous chef beat. Gather around, cause it's time to eat. We cooked it, we cooked it. We did that. Kick off your shoes, it's a sous chef beat. Gather around, cause it's time to eat. We cooked it, we cooked it. We did that. Let's eat, sous chefs. All right. So, yeah, girl, about to go ham on this banana pudding. Yeah, ready? I'm ready to eat. Listen, it's 2 30 in the afternoon. It's probably the last thing I need to eat. I told y'all was not feeling good. <laughs> it looks too good not to. With no further ado, let's get into this pudding. All right. I'm kind of going back and forth between being really savage with this or, or putting it in a really cute bowl. But I think, I think, I think I need to go a little bit ham. I think I shouldn't go ham. That's what I meant to say. I don't think I should go that ham because I told y'all what my life was like yesterday. Just a little ham. This is like a regular serving, right? I'm gonna leave this right here so y'all can look at it though. All right. You let it. Today. Go to the store, get all these ingredients like the chessman cookies, 
game changer. But them wafers are cool, but they get like, they get mushy faster. These do eventually soften up, but it takes them a little while. And it's over the course of a couple of days. So if you like softer cookies, then go ahead by all means use the vanilla wafers, but know that on day two and on day three of this banana pudding, if it makes it that long, the cookies are gonna be nice and soft. I like a little bit of texture to my stuff. Mm. So this really works for me. Feel free to use another banana. Um, somebody in the house ate my other one, so you already know. Mm -hmm. All of it. you guys this is just another quick hit recipe from sous chef i'll be back with some more bangers stay tuned i'm going to be working on making a large batch of my sous sauce again and the first five people that drop hashtag sue sauce sent it in the disc in the comment section will get a sample of my sauce for free to your house or wherever you want it sent to like a baby look at that mm. so good guys if you're still here and you like the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up drop those comments in the comment section and make sure that you subscribe before you leave so that you can know whenever i drop another video all right last but not least what i always leave you with is that today i showed you how to make it and now you can go and make it yourself love you guys bye